Yeah, it's a great truck. This is the truck Earl Kieselhorst thought he owned, a 2003 Chevy Silverado that he bought from Bill Hurd Chevrolet in Antioch. Paid cash for it, uh, made the deal, sales manager signed off on it, signed all the paperwork and, and drove off. Kieselhorst had traded in this car and given the dealer a check for $8,100. I have the keys. But he doesn't have his truck. Bill Hurd does. I can't see any reason why this wouldn't be my car. Just one day after he bought his truck, a salesman from Bill Hurd called Kieselhorst to say the dealership was having second thoughts about the deal. And if Kieselhorst wanted to keep his truck, he was going to have to pay another $10,000, something he refused to do. After all, he says, they had a signed deal. But the next morning, when Kieselhorst woke up, his truck was gone. Well, I was like, I can't believe it. The dealership had come and taken it in the middle of the night. Well, I've got a contract. This is a, a legal contract. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Metro Police investigated and wanted to file charges against Bill Hurd for stealing the truck. So the general sales manager admitted to you that they sold the truck to him and then came back? And took the truck from him? Yes. Detective Ray Paris got this statement from Bill Hurd, blaming a rookie salesman for what happened and calling it a mistake. They inadvertently sold the vehicle at lower cost than what they should have. It's not a mistake. Kathleen Callaghan says the Better Business Bureau has received literally hundreds and hundreds of similar complaints about the Bill Hurd dealership. More complaints by far than any other auto dealer in all of Middle Tennessee. Not only is this a an unbelievable volume of complaints. Most of them are unresolved. Calligan says in this day and age, dealers know exactly how much a vehicle is worth. And if a dealership truly does make a mistake, they'll take the loss rather than call the customer and demand he make up the difference. There is absolutely no reason for a sale not to be final. Uh, when the customer walks out of the dealership. Yet even after Bill Hurd had taken back the truck, the salesman called Kieselhorst again. He calls me back and offers to sell it to me for 11000 more than I paid for it. Kieselhorst said no way, and even though he still believes he is the rightful owner of the truck, when we went looking for it at Bill Hurd, we found a customer checking it out. Yeah, but they told you it is for sale. It is for sale. And moments later, a saleswoman confirmed it. Is it for sale? It is. It is for sale. Yeah, it is for sale. It's the whole thing has got, it's just gotten more ridiculous and more ridiculous. And now the self-proclaimed largest dealership in the world is accusing Kieselhorst of, quote, trying to pull a fast one on them. This is the way this company does business. And for Bill Hurd, she says, this is just business as usual. They really thought they would be able to um, pull a fast one on their customer. Now, after we tried to get their side of the story for days, Bill Hurd finally faxed us this statement tonight, saying that Earl Kieselhorst, quote, should have known that the deal he got was too good to be true. Oh. Bill Hurd says it is not reasonable or fair to expect the dealership to be bound by a sale where a clear and material mistake was made and that the customer was aware that it was a mistake. <laughs>